One night, an Indian friend based in London complained to his wife about some minor chest pain that he had been having over the past couple of days. She called her doctor friend in India and asked what she should do. The first thing her doctor quizzed her was on her husband's family history, which happened to be replete with cardiac disease. Now, Pat came the doctor's orders, take him to the hospital immediately. They got to the hospital and lo and behold, my friend had suffered a heart attack. Hi guys, my name is Dr. Amit Verma and I'm a critical care specialist. Now, why have I told you that story? That's because Indians, in fact, all South Asians really happen to have poor genes when it comes to heart health. It's embossed in our DNA. Now, what does that mean? If your grandparents, great-grandparents, anyone down your immediate family tree has had some heart issues, it's a red flag. So does that mean that we are screwed? No, with our history of not maintaining records of any kind, how would you even know? This is where gene testing can play a role. Taking into consideration our high cardiac disease rates and lack of funds, a recent Harvard study makes a very interesting point. Usually when a cardiac risk is identified, family members head out in droves to get tested for a gene mutation. This is also called family testing. Now, this usually takes place once a family member has unfortunately already died from heart disease. What you need to do instead is identify the living family member with the most significant signs of the disease, a so-called index person. This allows for the identification of the gene which displays the most powerful effects of the disease. Now, once delineated, family members can opt for what is called predictive testing to see whether they even carry the gene mutation. This enables people to have far lower costs, broader tests, and more importantly, much better outcome. So there you have it. Your genes can actually determine how much of a threat heart disease poses to you. And more importantly, this is something you should and really test for. Now at times, heart disease is accompanied by symptoms. Feel faint, experience palpitations, and at times, which is exponentially more dangerous, there is something called a sudden cardiac death, which is silent. Now, if you take the test and you fall into a high risk category, what next? To my mind, three fundamental steps that you should do anyways, outside of any medical intervention. Number one, quit smoking. Number two, get active if you're not already. And finally, make your diet healthy. A balanced Indian meal with lots of fruits, veggies and whole grains are exactly what any cardiologist would insist upon. And don't fall for these misconceptions about things like moving away from physical activity to rest your heart. That's a myth that causes substantial damage. Smoking and tobacco consumption are usually associated with cancer, but their impact on your heart is just as devastating. Heart disease is very diagnosable and very manageable, but preventive testing is the key. The prospect of it frightens many people. Allow me to advise you as a doctor and consider your immediate family's cardiac history. Take a day of work and please get tested.